Hi guys, welcome back to the automation points. So this tutorial agenda is how to handle the checkbox in WebDriver. So let's go on the application. We will take one checkbox. So here it's on the login page. We do not have any checkbox. So let's do the login admin and the password is admin one two three. Okay, so here on the login page, so on the admin page, now here you can see that multiple checkbox we have, and this is a checkbox. So yeah, so once we select the checkbox, all the item is getting selected here. Okay, so we will see how to check this checkbox uh, by selling. Okay, so uh, come on this. Already I have created one the. Uh, um, handle the checkbox with uh, class in this class already i have code to launch the chrome browser to do launch the application and then do the login and navigate to the admin page okay so now we will write the code here to do the click so just to do the click guys it's li just like the uh, link we will identify the checkbox as a element and so then let's see driver dot find element i dot i let's see what locator is available for that elements so we'll go on this element and inspect go on the inspect element if we will here in the inspect element we can see that this element has id and it seems as a constant so we can take this one and go and dot id and id here as a locator id and then perform click on it. So okay, so id the and close the bracket and then pop on click okay. so, yeah so this uh, click will click on the checkbox it do the login and go on the admin page and do the click so let's run this code so let's run it java application <clears throat> so it's launch the browser chrome browser and opening the orange hhrm and now inserted credential and logged into the application now it will go on admin page and here you can see now it should select and, and it select has happened so you can see here so just to select the checkbox in the code we have what we have done just we have the click so let's say if already this element is selected and again if you will perform the click action it will deselect it okay so physically it will deselect it so to take a handle that situation usually whenever we try to interact with the checkbox what we do we put this statement inside the if if a statement if okay and we use some other method take this line up to here and pass here and click dot and you can see here uh, we have one element available each selected okay and this is selected returns boolean true or false if element it means checkbox is already selected then it will return true or if checkbox is not selected then it will return false would call this method so if already checkbox is selected then what should be there should not be any click on the application so here we will log like check box is selected okay and then in the else block else block what we will do guys in the else block if not selected then we will perform this click option okay so take it and put it right here and let's take the um, a state of the um, checkbox before clicking and after clicking also 
So here, check box status. And remove this line, check box status. Plus, and take this line of the code. Okay, and put here. So here the checkbox status should be false. And again, take the, this line of the code and put after clicking. So here you can see this checkbox status should be true. Okay, so is element uh, method will return true. Okay, so now this is, uh, yeah. So let's run this code. <laughs> So again, you can see and um, the browser has been launched now and it came on the login page. Now it's it did login and navigated to this admin page and here it has already select, selected. It has clicked the, on the to select the element. So let's see the console, what console is saying. So here console is saying checkbox status false means this line of the this line is get executed and has returned the false and again click has happened then we are getting checkbox status is true okay so this is what how we can handle the checkbox in selenium guys okay so thank you guys so today's uh, i have covered today's agenda so yeah so guys subscribe the automation point channel to keep getting the automation updates okay thank you thank you guys